Hey everyone, welcome back. We are doing part two of our mystery reader. Again, my name is Jenny, and yesterday I read you The Aminol by Lorna Ballion. And the first thing I wanna to do today is we're gonna review the story and remind ourselves of where we were at. So here we go, The Aminol. Hi. This is Patrick, remember Patrick? He was on a picnic and he found something that was an aminol and he wanted to keep it, take it home and feed it. He made a soft bed for it. He showed his friend Molly and Molly imagined it to look like that. Then Molly talked to Calvin and Calvin thought it looked like that. Then Calvin saw Freddy, it's Freddy in the swing, and Freddy imagined it to look like that. Then Freddy saw his friend Cookie, and they imagined together that it looked like that. Then Cookie told Geraldine that they better get to Patrick's house. And she explained why that Patrick had found a pet and they imagined it to look like that. Then they ran to Patrick's house. They gathered all of their friends. They thought Patrick maybe needs some help. And they found Patrick. He's got a little smile on his face. He's sitting up in the tree and they asked him, where is that wild thing you caught, Patrick? It's behind the house, he replied. Do you want to see it? Yes, they did, and no, no, they didn't. Or maybe they ought to. Just a quick peek. They followed Patrick fearfully around the house. And Patrick said, it's not there anymore. Help me find it. So they looked everywhere. Do you remember this? They were looking in the flowers. They looked in the tree. They looked, where is this? Under the bushes and in the garage, but they didn't find it. Patrick had a good idea. The porch, maybe it's hiding under the porch. And Patrick was the only one that was small enough to wiggle inside under the porch. I found it. I found my aminal. Here it is. And that's where we stopped. And so then I told you guys to draw me a picture of what you think Patrick's animal is and many of you posted pictures. So I'm gonna show you some of these. These are some of the things that some of our friends made. Look at that one, that's green, right? Yeah. There's another one. Oh, sorry. There's another one. Oh, he had three ideas. This says Greeny the Animal. That says caterpillar. Look at that one. Oh, hers is kind of hard to see, but it's there. See it? There. It says two ideas by Jade. This one says, I think it would be green and have sharp toenails. Look at that one. This one says, I think it's a real animal, like a frog. Hmm, that's a good idea. And this one says, unicorn animal. Huh. Look at these fantastic ideas people have of what Patrick had. That purse is green too. Another green one. That one's smiling. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's all of them. Those are some great ideas, you guys. And I know that many of you had other ideas that didn't make it onto the picture thing. So I'm gonna find that page. Here it is. Patrick quickly squirmed under the porch. I found it. I found my animal. Aminal. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, Patrick, that's not an aminal. That's an animal, a turtle animal, said Calvin, very relieved. That's what I said. An aminal, said Patrick. 
Huh, Geraldine said, just a silly little turtle. It's a nice friendly little turtle, said Molly. What's his name? Patrick thought for a moment. I didn't name it yet, but I think I'll call it Friendly. They all agreed that Friendly was a good name for a friendly little, harmless little, green little turtle. What does Friendly eat, Patrick? giggled Cookie. Mosquitoes, said Patrick. That's what. Lots and lots of mosquitoes. The end. That is the aminal. We found out that Patrick's pet that he brought home was a turtle. How fun is that? So the challenge for today, the thing I want you to do today is to go get another piece of paper and I want you to draw for me either, there's two choices. You can draw for me the pet that you already have or the pet that you want, like if you could have another pet or your very first pet, what do you want it to be? So draw us one of those, your pet already or the one you would really, really like to have. And post that below here too so we can all see the pets that we either have or that we want and it'd be really fun to see each other's pictures. So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.